Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. We have some free time, so let's go meet some people. But first... Oh yeah, we're finally doing this. We're going to explore the library. We're going to check that little room, that little door inside the library. It's happening! If the damn thing is locked, I don't know what I'll do. And I haven't checked everything. Oh, it, I can actually hang out with him. If I want to... I mean, l last time he kind of announced that he's into this game and uh, he's going to win it. He's going to kill everyone. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. On top of that, isn't the lighting in here kinda bad? Okay, another coin to fuel my gambling addiction. It's a desk lamp. The library's definitely pretty dark. I imagine this would come in pretty handy. Biakuya's getting some use out of it, that's for sure. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. So dusty. I don't even wanna bother cleaning it. Also, I found a coin. We check the ladder, all of that. Okay, wanna talk about the shelf. An extension cord. I guess it's being used to connect the lamp to the power outlet. But where would you get something like this here in the school? Oh, I can't go any further right. There was a notice there. I guess it's not important. Oh, another coin. Cool. More gambling. More coins means more gambling. I think we got it all. What about this door? Hey, you! Oh. I can't concentrate with you here. Kindly leave. But I want to check the door. Damn it, Byakuya! You dick! All I wanted for the past couple of episodes was to check out that room. Ah! Kinda hope someone kills you next. Oh, hey, I wanted to hang out with you. Uh, actually, let me look at my gift guides. And we'll see if I have anything that she really, really loves. Let's see, so... Damn it, they use the little, um... They, they use the little, uh... uh sprite sprite icons. On, from the door, um, from the door uh, nameplate to represent each character. It's, it's a bit hard to see sometimes, but I believe, yeah, she's here. So she really likes. Um... Oh wait, I guess. Oh, I'm checking this rock. She really likes co coffee luwak. What's coffee? Is it this? I mean, it's going in order. This has... 100 items, not 114. Is this even correct? Well, min... I mean, the number one is mineral water. Cola Cola. Then we have civet coffee, but here it says coffee luwak. 
Then there's the Rose Hip Tea. Prismatic Heart Tech. What? Odds. Is this correct? Hold on. Guess I'll have to check another one. A uh, gift for every... Okay, list characters like which presents. Come on. Okay, let me try this one. Okay, this this is a different one. So let's see. No, it also says Luak Coffee. And it goes to uh, 100 items, not 114. Well, never mind, I'll go with the one I had. So, let's see, what else does she like? She likes the coffee luwak. She likes Bulberry Perfume, number 21. We don't have it. She likes what? In vitro rose, number 46. Rose in vitro, okay, I guess I can use this. Who else likes the rose in vitro? A lot of people, apparently. I'll just go, go with the coffee, it's probably, probably for the best. Yo, Kyoko, let's hang out. Let's bond. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Hmm, yes, let's spend some time with Kyoko. You want to spend time with me? But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. Oh, we're doing this again, really? Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Let's give her a present. Coffee. Th thank you, this really means a lot to me. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But, I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. You could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings. But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so, we, so you can gather information. N no, that's not... Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A test? If you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Oh, okay, so I just have to answer your question, is that it? Are, are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? If that's true, what is her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Hina's ultimate ability, she's training for the Olympics and nice body. Thumbs up, no, swimming. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Well, asked and answered. 
then your Plizak camaraderie are true. Really? Just like that? I mean, I have that information on my handbook. I mean, it's pretty simple. Of course. Yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. Yeah. Okay then, as promised. What would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Uh, was it an exchange program? Or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents, I suppose. Why all the question marks? Anyway, so she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government. Top secret clearance. More question marks. Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin. I kept up my end of the deal. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Oh, my maximum number of skill points has increased. Okay, uh, I checked online. Apparently she has a skill, an actual skill, not just skill points, but I need... I guess uh, certain people only unlock skills at certain... Um, at certain uh, bonding levels. So let's hunt someone down. Oh, I want to bond with you. I have grown entirely accustomed to life here. With enough time, any place can eventually come to feel like home. Yeah, let's spend some time with Celeste. Oh, wait, I should have seen if I have anything for her. Damn it. So Celeste is this one over here. Uh, I guess we'll have to... Well, I can't see it now. I truly frightened myself to captivate even insignificant little creatures like yourself. Celeste and, I, Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Let's give her a present. Okay, so what does Celeste like? She likes rose hip tea. Well, of course, she likes tea. Interesting. The gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted. <laughs> this is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? My perfect gambling strategy. Is there really such a thing? Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part of gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is... That power is... Luck. Luck! There are only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Some call it fate. The bottom line is, luck is life. Do you see what I'm saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? Correct, you see. I was programmed to have good luck when it, when it comes to gambling. 
This is why I have never lost. So that's all there is to it? You are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. <laughs> well then, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quickly disappeared. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. We have maximum number of skill points increased, so... Hmm. Can I do something else or is it night time? Night time! Night time, boys! Hmm, uh -huh, this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bag bugs bite. Another day gone. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this gonna keep going? I hope I can bond to some more tomorrow. I want some more time before the next murder occurs. All the stress and anxiety keep kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Blah blah blah, night time is over, rise, right, beautiful day. Well, I bet I guess I'd better head to the dining hall before anything else. So did anyone die? I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but less people? Is this everyone? It feels a little uh, small. That's what she says. Uh, Byakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kinda empty. Still, I know Byakuya's whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? I vote no, she's super annoying! How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. What? No, rock candy isn't cold, it's sweet. Anyway, Byaku is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna use the rope to do a tug of war or something, idiot? I'm not an idiot! You're an idiot! Who are you calling stupid? Huh? 
What's going on, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Oh, I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakuya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out, and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. I hate how weak I am. Ah, uh, I see, so Mondo made you depressed. What? How is it my fault? I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girl, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? Sakura would beg to, di beg to disagree. Are you crying? It's cause you were screaming like a lunatic. <laughs> hey, come on, don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Just shut up. I got it. I'll make you a promise as a man. Promise as a man? Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Left you? Oh yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise, so you don't gotta cry anymore. Okay. Thank you, Mondo. Sure. But I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In that case, I would be happy to help you out sometime. But then Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces! Shut up, you! <laughs> oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? Yeah. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Free time? Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Okay, free time! Hooray! Bonding time! So, I want to bond with... Uh... I always forget her name. And I'm, I miss Junko. I miss doing her voice. That was fun. Uh, where is... Why do I always forget her... Ah, here she is. Okay, she's not here anyways. Let's hunt her down! Is she in the trash room? Is anyone here? There's no one here! I want to hunt down... Um, I want to hunt her down... And... Sakura maybe? Maybe Chihiro? Maybe Mondo. Maybe have our manly bath. Is 
so no one here, right? Damn it. Is anyone still in here? It's kind of annoying having to track them down. I could bond with Celeste again. Do I have anything that she would like though? Well, I don't know. Okay, um, I'll check my presence. Maybe I'll check at what level we get her skill. And um, I'll decide that by next episode. For now, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed some more uh, Danganronpa. And as usual, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I will see you all next time. Danganronpa.